Okay, so I've kind of figured out what mood we need to go with. And I think I'm going to actually have everyone get comfortable where you're sitting first. Make sure that if you can, anyway, your feet are flat on the ground so that you've got good contact with the earth, okay? Um, in fact, if you want to take your shoes off so that you feel even more connected, you're welcome to do that, but you don't need to. I hate shoes personally, so I'm taking mine off. Um, the other thing I want you to do is slowly kind of warm up your hands, okay? So we're going to use them soon, but we'll warm up your hands. You can close your eyes if you'd like to, uh, or you can keep looking at something. Um, doesn't matter whatever feels most comfortable. But I would like you to, for a moment, imagine the first time you really enjoyed your art. The first time you said, oh my goodness, and you felt some sort of like soul connection or real happiness. Maybe you were three years old, maybe it was yesterday. But I want you to think back to that time and how you first connected and how you first felt that passion and that love and that just sheer joy. All right. So let's do this. First thing we're gonna do, if you have glasses on, it's probably easier to take them off. Um, but we're gonna take our hands across the top of our forehead and one at a time, you just drag your hand across, okay? And you may start to feel a little bit of like buzzing and tingling as this goes along. You may not, you know, or it may be like towards the end of the massage, you get it, but all right. Next one we're gonna do is just right across the, the um, eye bone right here. So just kind of follow the contours of that bone. You're gonna come out to your temples and then pull down your neck, okay? When you get down here to your breastbone, your collarbone, you're gonna push your fingers like inside and down just a little bit. Slightly uncomfortable, but it's not painful. It's just like, oh, what am I doing? And what you are doing actually is kind of opening the, the lymphatic channels and the blood vessels actually. I mean, your big like carotid artery and whatnot are right out here too but it just kind of encourages some of this stuff to drain a little bit. So we'll do this again. So come across the um, orbital bone out to your temple, down, and then push. Take a nice deep breath to Let's do a couple more of these. Don't have to spend quite as long down here anymore, though. All right. And now we're going to move down to the bottom of your eye socket here. So we'll go across, go up to the temple again, down the neck again. We'll just do this a few times. And you can close your eyes again if you'd like. See what it feels like. Okay, the next one I'm not going to be able to do with you, but bring your fingers uh, across the bridge of your nose here and then pull down over to the like ear and down the neck. Okay, so across the bridge of the nose, below the temple, over to the ear and then down. We'll do that a few times. And breathe too. All right. Next one, we're going to go right on the, the lip here, kind of underneath the nose. We come out to the angle of your jaw here, kind of right where, yeah, those things meet, and then down the neck. Okay. And then my 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 uh, favorite one comes next after this. All right, one more of these. 
All right. So for this one, you're going to put one finger on your upper lip and one on your bottom lip. And then you are going to make some absolutely ridiculous looking things. And you can make sounds if you want. I really like it. And then you can switch. Mm -hmm. It's great. And then last one, you'll go across your chin, over to the angle, and then down. Go ahead and close your eyes again. I'll do this a couple more times. And... I want you to think again about that first time you had a really good connection with your art. And I want you to connect that to your heart. I want you to, to bring that, like almost like you're physically bringing that memory into your heart, okay? You can imagine like you're pulling it from your brain down to your heart. Bring it right in there. And this is what I wish for all of us today. May we all connect with our art and may we all connect with ourselves and don't forget your body is self-healing. Okay. So give it the care and love it wants, and it's going to heal for you. Okay. Let's shake it out and then we can get to making some art. <laughs> all right. How are we doing? Yeah. All right. You can unmute yourselves if you want now. Um, that was the only part that I, you know, kind of wanted it quiet for sure. Thank you. Yeah. I love those. Um, Thank you. All right. So neurographic art, the way that I like to do it, I give everyone 90 seconds, essentially. And we just continuous line draw. Okay. So you get your pen, uh, or if you want to do a pencil, you can, right? I like to commit. And don't pick your pen up. The idea is to keep going. It, you can stop if you'd like. You can retrace your steps if you'd like. But don't pick but don't, that pen up. Don't lift it off the paper. Mm -mm. Okay. Nope. And I'm going to switch um, cameras here. Um, I do try to connect with the whole page. So no matter what size of paper you chose for today, Try to hit each of the four sides if you can, okay? Even if it's just one little boop, you know? And I forgot to finish putting my tape on, so I'm gonna hurry and do that because I'm gonna end up, of course, using some water media. Surprise, surprise. Um, but after we're done today, I'm gonna go burn some wax and try that. I've got some encaustic. A date with encaustics. I put it off my first uh, play date with it because of the surgery, but uh, no more. I went to an open studio um, art thing last summer here in Walnut Creek where a woman did that and she did a demo for me and stuff. Yeah. It was pretty cool. Lo it you, need a lot of, you need a lot of equipment, but it was pretty cool. You do. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so... Cool. I did not pick the cheapest one to jump in on, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, but the good news is I told myself, look, I can sell it uh, yeah. if I decide to change my mind uh, and people will buy it. So, yeah. All right. So, yeah, I try to touch all four sides at some point. And again, we have 90 seconds, which is actually kind of long. It is I long. Usually, I usually go 60 for myself, but for um, people who may or may not have done this before, I, I tend to do it a little bit longer. Um, yeah, and don't be afraid of like putting a line in the wrong place, who cares? Uh, <laughs> you, just, you just go with it. In fact, you know, why not put it in the wrong place? If your hand wants to go somewhere left, right. don't, don't second guess yourself. She said, don't worry about it. I found coverage. I was asking everyone. Yeah. So, sorry, guys. It's okay. 
All right. So is everyone ready? Yes. Okay. Right. Any no's? I don't think so, but all right. I'm gonna give us I'll time us. Um and I'll let you know when to start stop. So and go ahead. Yeah, don't be afraid to just like do it wrong. It's okay. But yeah, just feel the pen. It's kind of fun. Maybe even hold it the way you're not used to. You could hold it in your non-dominant hand if you want. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Just to be loose and like not, yeah. And you can stop at any time. If you feel like you're done, I'm not, you know, you don't have to do 90 seconds. There's no prescriptions. <laughs> okay. So you just do whatever floats your boat. We've got about 30 seconds still left. Ooh, 90 is a long time. I know. It really kind of is. Okay, 15. Five, four, three, two, and one. I almost wanted to do that like basketball timer. Um, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah. <laughs> now at this point, you can decide if, um, how you want to finish it off if you want to. If you if I was Dr. Russian, what what's his butt that wants to make money? I would tell you that anywhere these lines have crossed, you need to round out your corners. Yeah. Okay? Um, which yeah. would be something like this. And I just don't give a fuck. So you don't have to do that unless you want to. So do it if you want. Um, I don't usually do that. But if you want to add anything to what you have here, um, feel free. You know, this is where you get to just kind of doodle and play with it. And, you know, after you get your line done, start with your color at any point. That's it. Like, that's the end of the prescription. Okay.
blocks before like so ink tents comes uh i mean th i think most people know about their pencils they've got pencils and pan paints and then these blocks and then the giant blocks and Ooh, that looks fun. yeah the pan sick. paints are like you know they're more like watercolor the pencils are a lot like watercolor these guys though are kind of like gouache and then oh. these guys are kind of like pastels like by the way that they like move and act on the paper um, yeah and they become more opaque too like the pan paints are transparent pencils are mostly transparent anyway waiting for his turn Another lost boy with foolish hopes to burn Forlorn for reasons he cannot discern Deftly walk in a straight line focused on his task Eager to find an ever finer mask Troubled by questions he forgot to ask Father had wrong for himself, then it be 
sky, calling upon.